Hello, this time, we are going to make an object disappear using material and blueprint. First, create a material. Set blend mode to masked. Next, create a bounding box based node to set the object's gradient. And we create dot product nodes and connect them together. While holding down the 3 key, click the left mouse button to create a constant 3 vector node. Next, set B value to 1 and connect it to the dot product node. Then, you can extract the Z value of object and a darker gradient appears from the bottom. Since we're going to make the darker gradient from the top, flip it upside down using the 1 minus node. Next, connect a subtract node to set the amount of fading. Then, create a constant parameter node that can adjust the amount by clicking the left mouse button while pressing S on the keyboard. If you set the values for slider min and max of the parameter node as shown in the video, a slider that can adjust the parameter value within the set value range is created. After connecting the parameter node to the subtract node and adjusting the parameter value, you can see that the gradient range set in the mesh changes. I use a power node to soften the borders of the gradient colors a bit. Next, create a dither temporal node. And if you connect the nodes like in the video, the lower part of the mesh does not disappear with the color of the gradient, and the upper part is divided into small pixels and disappears. Finally, create three constant nodes by clicking the left mouse button while holding down one key and set base color, metallic, roughness values with them. Next, create a blueprint. Click the Add button in the Components window to create cube and box collision. And make the components larger using the transform like the video. Next, in Event Graph, remove all nodes except for Event Begin Play Next. Create a Create Dynamic Material Instance node to adjust parameters of the material in real time. Set the material you just created to the source material. Next, make the dynamic material a variable to reuse it. Next, create a set scalar parameter value node to set the initial value of fade amount. Please note that the parameter name must be written accurately in the material. In the box collision component, create a begin overlap and an end overlap events. Then, create a timeline node that sets the value for the material to fade over time. And create a timeline track like the video. After setting the timeline connected to overlap events next, connect this set scalar parameter value node to the timeline node so that the parameter value changes according to the value of the timeline node. Now place the completed blueprint in the level and run it. Then, check if the material changes when entering and exiting the collision's range.